I hear the cord. All right. You guys recording, Mr. O? Well, I don't see red on mine, so it probably shows you only on yours. If yeah, it shows me that's recording on mine. Okay, then. Let's. Okay. Okay. Doesn't want to cooperate with two at once. Oh. Uh, there we go. So first year band members. We have Angelos Andrade, Cindy Ariaga, Valerie Carlos, Sergio Curiel, Sebastian Delira, John Flores, Isabella Galvez, Samantha Graves, Elizabeth Gutierrez, Sofia Hammond, Laura Allison Herrera, Arturo Jimenez, Brandon Luevano, Clarissa Mas Anthony Maldonado, Isabel Martinez, Dan Nunez, Edgar Ocana, Kaylee Palacios, Genesis Plata, Isaiah Razo, Isabel Rivas, Krista Rogers, Julian Rosas, Vanessa Sevilla, Sylvia Telix, and Everett Williams. Next, we have our first year jazz, which Mr. O will go through. All right, so we put it here by instruments, so start with the saxophones, and from each band. So in jazz band three, we had Cindy Ariaga, Kevin Cordova, Sofia Hammond Mota, Raymond Ortiz on flute, Arika Shakir, Praise You on flute. Then on jazz band number two, we had Samantha Graves, Ezekiel Leva, Isabel Park on flute, and jazz ensemble, our Mercedes Barraza on flute. So that's the second flutes. On trombones, we had jazz band number three, Sebastian Delira, Lisbeth Figueroa, Catherine Seman, Vanessa Sevilla. And from Jasmine number two, Evan Gonzalez, Joaquin Macias, Anthony Maldonado, Joshua Soriano, and in jazz ensemble, Alejandro Ortiz. On trumpets, Jasmine number three, Vivian Mejia, Dairal Robles, Julian Rosas. From Jasmine number two, we had Julia Ramirez. And jazz ensemble, we had Sergio Curiel. On the rhythm section, jazz band number three, we had George Pena, Olivia Roy on pianos, had Jennifer Salas on the vibe, Samuel Reg. And from jazz band number two, we had Ethan Arana on drums, Brandon Martinez on guitar, and our bassist from jazz ensemble, Lilith Lopez. Of course, she transferred from the other school, but she's been here for one year, so we put this one year. <laughs> so, and on the choir, we had Arturo Andrade, JDN Arana, Omar Ayub, Michaela Ceballos, Angel Flores, Brandon Lopez, Annette Melendez, Salim Takibao, Cody Chaoi Monsiri, and Julia Vailand. And all of you can clap like the like this for everybody. Yay! <laughs> okay, so we'll go on now to first year guard members. If it will, there we go. And now I'll let Homer go through these names. Homer, are you still here? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Here, it's just not showing me anything. Oh, there we go. <laughs> First, we have Angela Alvarez, Andy Conde, Juliet Enriquez, Carolina Guzman, Madison Lopez, Juliet Menchaca, Angie Morales, Mia Poveda, and Pamela Zurica. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and then next, we have second year band members, which there are not that many of you guys. We had Jasmine Alvarez, Diego Andrade, Desmond Carter, Alexis Comley, Quasi, Kevin Cordova, <laughs> Connor Esquivel, 
Soraya Garibe, Vanessa Gonzalez, Rosalie Granados, Joshua Hernandez, Carla Jimenez, Trinity Ponce, Astrid Puerto, Caroline Salas, Catherine Saman, Kylie So, Brody Urzua, Penelope Valadez, and Jackson Zawada. Stop trying to join in. Back into your jazz. Yes. While we start this, the, the days, uh, we did the best as we could to, to find every single name with the right ears. If we made a mistake, we apologize. And please, uh, maybe write it on chat. Mr. O, Mr. G or Homer, this was wrong. So we can correct it. <laughs> I hope it's not the case, but here is second year jazz on saxophones, Jasmine three, Jasmine Alvarez, Joel Herrera, Jasmine two, Cristina Acevedo, Astrid Puerto, and jazz ensemble, Matthew Chavez. On trombones, with from Jasmine two, Diego Andrade. And on trumpets, we had on Jasmine three, Rosalie Granados, Jasmine two, Julia Ramirez, so I guess I messed up in here because I put Julia as a one year and two year. So I'm not sure, Julia, you should say, what is it? I think it's one year though, so I may be wrong on here. Sorry about that. Jazz ensemble, Luis Moreno. On the rhythm section, J Jasmine three, we had Jaden Ramirez on guitar, Jeffrey Reyes on drums. And um, I think I'm, um, okay with this i'm not sure jeff if you're more than two years i don't think so but let me know jasmine two cedric Bautista on piano and on jazz choir we had alisa curiel and alejandro ortiz congrats two-year members Yay. the second year guard Omar, are you still here? Yep, there you go. Second year color guard, we have Natalie Beck, Ileana Gamboa, Arlene Hernandez, Marissa Mormolejo, and Melody Solano. Five. Yay! Spirit fingers. <laughs> All right. Next, <laughs> next, we have third year band. Uh, for those of you who are aware, third year band members are the ones who earn their letter. So three years of service to our program, you earn a letter with your respective insignia, whether it's band, jazz, or guard. The letters are slightly different. Um, so third year band members. Ashley Aguilar, Violet Becerra, Elani Bonilla, Michaela Ceballos, Lisbeth Figueroa, Vivian Gomez, Evan Gonzalez, Belkis Hernandez, Joaquin Macias, Lily Montenegro, Leslie Moreno, Alejandro Ortiz, Julia Ramirez, Jeffrey Reyes, and Daira Robles. So those are our letter recipients for band this year. Now we move to our third year jazz. All right, on third year jazz band, we had on saxophones in jazz band two, Angel Diaz, and Daniela Martinez. And on jazz ensemble, we have Sergio Galvez, Antonio Machado, and Cody Chaoi Monsiri. On the trombones, on jazz ensemble, Arturo Andrade. On trumpets, from jazz band two, Salomon Zubiate. On jazz ensemble, we had Lily Montenegro and Eli Salomon. And on the rhythm section, jazz band two, on bass, Kelly Zabala. On jazz ensemble, we had our drummers, Anaí Hernandez and Isabel Salas. And of course, on guitar, Maestro Ivan Cuevas. On jazz choir, we had three, three years members, Angie Di Lorenzo, Alisa Dunnigan, and Raymond Ortiz. Yay, three year jazz members. Go on. Go on. 
So we have three years of service for Color Guard. Uh, this one, Homer, I'll go ahead and do just because there's one. Um, so we have one third year member in the program. They actually have <laughs> three years of guard, but they actually started in band as a percussionist. So they spent their freshman year in drumline and then their following two years in guard. So that counts as three years of service, but we we'll recognize them as a guard member because that's what they are now. So that person is Thalia Radio. So Thalia has been here. Yay! She's been on both sides of the program. So yay, Thalia. All right, so next is our senior certificates. So in order to earn any of our awards, you need to have a full or multiple full years of service. Um, some of our seniors may not have been in the program for a full, full, full four years um, for many different reasons, whether it be joining late or academic eligibility at some point. But I want to acknowledge all of our seniors who have been in the program, but may not have been serving for four full years. Those would be Omar Ayub, Eli Barajas, Aldo Lopez, Lilith Lopez, Matthew Mendoza, Julie Quevedo, Matthew Salas, and Sam Vega. So then we move on to our members who have four years of service. Um, Homer, you can say the names of the first two because they are the only two that have four years. And then Mr. Oates, you want to read the rest of the names? Because we've had both of them. The two that I have are um, Gwen Cisneros and Kaylee Matthews. Yeah. Mr. O, do you want to read the rest? Okay. So, of course, these are seniors who get a plaque, a beautiful, nice plaque. And some of you already picked it up. Some of you, it's still in Mr. G's office when you have a chance next week to stop by to pick it up. You totally deserve it. And we're so proud of you seniors for four years of service in the music program. So uh, along with Gwen and Kaylee, here it comes. From Band Angels, Band Angels Choir, Cristina Brianna Acevedo. Yay, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> On trombone and one year of jazz choir, Arturo Andrade. Yay. On uh, Amanda Bordales. I don't know what instrument she played, but. She started on flute and then she became a tuba section leader. Oh, yes. Go tubas, Amanda Bordales. And on flute, she ended up uh, with the piccolo and the flute and uh, some ear in jazz. The only one, Mercedes Barraza. The best transcribing ever person. I would give her a song and she would just transcribe it the next day, everything from whatever key I gave her. So proud of you, Mercedes. And our guy that took our groups to another level in this last four years. And by the way, spoiler alert, are you guys ready? Sorry, I said it. Our Viking award from VPA, it's Mr. Juan Carballo. There you go. Congratulations, Juan. I don't know, I think they're showing that on next week sometimes, but since we didn't put it here on our awards uh, that we usually do, I thought I might say it now. So congrats, Juan, and thank you for everything you've done for our program. And of course, our Drum major and two-year jazz member on tenor sax and on everything else. One of the greatest leaders we ever had, Mr. Matthew Aurelius Chavez. Clap, clap, clap. Woo! And of course, on trombone and some special voice, she did it all. Member of, uh, let's see, um, two years of... Uh, uh, a cappella, Southern California Jazz Choir, Honor Jazz Choir, and I think one year of All State Honor Choir. And uh, what else? You put in the chat what else you, you did, but Alisa Curiel, clap, clap, clap for us. Also, one of the, uh, she is the selected singer for the graduation song. You'll hear her. And, uh, and on the tenor saxophones, part of the 
band and jazz, Mr. Angel Diaz. Oh, he's right beneath me. I told him yesterday I would hug him if I could, but I, I was not allowed to. I would <laughs> hug all you guys. <laughs> Maybe we can do a group hug virtually at the end. <laughs> all right, another saxophonist. He switched between a few saxophones depending upon the need and appreciate doing that for the for the help for the need that we had in in band and he even played some bass clarinet too right and bassoon uh, and bassoon there he goes sergio alexander galvez clap 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 yay now young ladies i cannot talk about enough of her uh she uh led the percussion section the whole year four years and her freshman again, along with the other uh, colleague of her, I asked them, hey, you should guys start uh, uh, playing drum set for jazz band, and she did. And this year I said, well, besides vibraphone, you need to play piano, because we need a piano. And she did an awesome job, uh, and she worked so hard and, and really came, came through, and thank you very much. Anaí Hernandez, clap, 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 yay. <laughs> Mr. G. Um, so next we have Kendall Longino, who started her band career here on flute, and then through uh, my recommendation, became a tuba, and also became one of our tuba section leaders, and one of the hardest workers and motivators that we have on our program. All right, clap, clap, clap. Yay, Kendall. I love the tubas. <laughs> Next, Daniela Martinez. She's been uh, again uh, playing on the saxophone, very sax, and then this last year she started on the bass, and she was the pilot for the jazz band number three on the bass and uh, concert band, I believe, right, um, or something. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, he's going to. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Daniela Martinez. All right, next, Mr. G. We have Caitlin Mendez, who was one of our flute players for four years and has also been section leader. She's served her section very well the past four years. All right, clap, 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 yay. Now the next two guys, these guys kind of started together, been together on almost in the same class every single time, uh, playing trumpet and horn, and ended up uh, leading our jazz band to, to high to high uh, high um, awards and shooting some high notes and helping the one band too. Brian Nava and Michael Ojeda. Yay, clap, clap, clap. And then next we have our two Sebastians. We have Sebastian Rodriguez, our beta, and Sebastian Rosas, our alpha, who have been inseparable in their four years and just kind of ubiquitous with each other. Um, they've both been members of the tenor section and they've done really great work. And it's been awesome to see them grow since their freshman year when they were part of that source of power early on. So glad to see you guys grow. Awesome, clap, clap, clap. And next, our percussion, uh, one of the percussion, uh, four-year members leading the percussion section and for three years in jazz band. She was with the jazz three for a couple years and this year she really stepped it up and led our band to what I thought is not gonna happen, but she worked really hard. I gave her a hard time, but it paid off. Isabel Salas, yay! <laughs> and then we have Cheyenne Samayoa or Samagoya as it was said one time. Um, Cheyenne's, you know, been there, sometimes against her will, helping until 10, 11, 12 at night, and she's been invaluable to us in our program, whether you know it or not. And then we have Kalina Sanchez, who has been a trombone player for us and then moved over to percussion two years ago, and she really stepped up and helped us to have a successful and strong battery the past two years where I don't know if we'd be able to fill up a bass line without her and Daniela stepping over and filling in on bass. And then we have Ninel Slenderman Sutherland, who's been in our pit for all four years, and she's definitely done a lot of growth over that time. Awesome. Uh, one more word for Cheyenne. I want to thank you, Cheyenne, for 
be in the contact and put us in, uh, in touch with Mr. Linares to repair some stuff in the band room and of course some stuff in my car, my lights, so I can see. Thank you, Cheyenne. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> And last but not least, or how do you say that? Is that how you say it? Right. <laughs> yeah, the man who shaped up the one band in this year for sure. And the man who actually, uh, yeah, was a, a lot of improvement, especially in his soloing that earned him a full scholarship to a uh, Stanford workshop, which it's canceled and hopefully he gets to go next year. Lead trumpet and a great soloist and cool guy, Mr. Aaron Villalobos. Yay! So those are all of our four years of service members. Like, I really want to thank all of you guys for the time that you've invested for me and Mr. O and Homer. Um, you know, we can't do what we want to do as directors, as teachers, without willing students going along with us and being willing to follow the directions that we give and the vision that we have for our program. So I want to say thank you to you all. Yes. So here, Dero, everything that Mr. G said. Um, it's been an awesome four years and I enjoyed every bit of it. So thank you very much, seniors. All right, we're going to move along. The next few slides are going to start our individual awards. So we're going to go through our most improved and best of each grade level. So there will be a most improved and best freshman, most improved and best sophomore, junior, um, senior, and then we'll go into other awards after we get those, through those four grade levels. So, oh, before that, we have our staff and booster board recognition. So just want to acknowledge that we've had a lot of coaches who have you know helped us to get to the point where we have been uh, in percussion we've had our two main coaches this year harry hutchins and rebecca pasillas of course we have a fantastic guard thanks to homer lopez and his staff anthony munoz Alyssa sotero and corey robinson who we had back again this year um, our visual staff on the field zach carrasco gary briggs Sal Estrada, who, you know, we've been a visual person and low brass for us, Isaac Landeros, Miguel Gonzalez, and Faith Garcia, who, you know, helped with our drum majors the past few years. So they really helped us get to a good place this year. And then we have more staff that we use for music. Mr. O, do you want to go through them? Yeah, so I'm so glad that we, we were able to hire these people and uh, we don't know how much we're going to have them, depending on the budget, but this year we certainly enjoyed them all. And on uh, saxophone and improv class and the combo teachers, we had Eddie Pimentel and Shai Golan this year. Actually, Eddie was the most of the year, and then Shai came in for lessons in the last couple of months or last month or so. On trumpet, we had this guy, man, who is at the bachelor party right now. Josh Olario. <laughs> We, on trombone, we just brought him back, former alumni uh, for lessons, Sam Gonzalez. On voice, again, we had uh, two uh, alumni, Lauren Batley and Vijay Rosales that came a little bit. And of course, we cannot uh, thank enough to Glynis Davis who's been there for the whole year and helped a lot the whole year. Thank you very much. And also on our, our, uh, Yes, low end, if I should say that. I don't know if that's correct. <laughs> the people on bass and drums. We had bass and other alumni, Teresa Sanchez, and on drums, Tyler Kreuter. Thank you, guys. And we had a mariachi coach come on back in January when we started our mariachi club. We only had six meetings, but it was awesome in the time that we did get to have. And I want to recognize our coach, Richard Mata. He did great work those of you, those of you who are in mariachi i know that you guys really like working with him so hopefully we'll see richard again soon and then we should have our if it's there we go we also have our booster board that i'd like to recognize this year's president was cynthia zapeta diane's mom i know that she's there somewhere <laughs> cynthia cynthia if you're there you want to say something Jan, unmute, let us know if she wants to say something. She's crying right now. <laughs> right, let's hear the tears. 
<laughs> All right, we'll let her say something at the end then. Uh, Vice President, we had Anita Iglesias. Anita, is, are you around? Do you want to say something? Hey, Lonnie, do you want to? No, I'm past. Okay. All right, that's fine. Treasurer, we had Mary Chavez. Matthew, is your mom around if she wants to say anything? Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, okay. seniors. Best wishes and best wishes to all the others in the coming years. Love you guys. We'll miss you. Thank you, Mary. Thank you for everything. <laughs> and as a secretary, we had Stephanie Croft. Thank you for all you guys did for us. And then after, we have our jazz booster board. Yeah, so we have moms that kind of took over in the last couple of years and they uh, helped us a lot. Um, I mean, for lack of words, uh, we had the president and vice president, but both did an outstanding job. So we had uh, Reina Monroy. Is Reina around? You'll see his mom. Angel? No, she's on the phone right now. Okay, <laughs> and uh, uh, we had also uh, Anaïs' mom, Ana Hernandez. Is she around? Uh, no, she, she's busy. Okay. Well, thank you both, and uh, we appreciate all the hard work that you've done, and thank you all the booster board, of course, for keeping this program alive. Because without you guys, and uh, and as the next page will say. Uh, uh, thank you to all the parents. Uh, you want to go, Mr. Jim, the yeah, next, we'll go to the next page. Uh, so we know that you know it takes a village to operate our programs. Um, you know we do have our booster board that does a lot for us, but they rely on the help of all of our parents, all of your parents, and especially in the past couple of years, it's been really obvious that our parents have been able to work as a team, and they've been able to do great things for us. Um, I know like during the fall when we go to a competition and we eat and we do this and we do that and we have other programs that look at us in envy with how do you guys have parents that feed you and take care of you and do this, um, you know, that's all of our parents. So without our support, we wouldn't be able to achieve the high levels that we have been able to so from myself and Mr. O, and I'm sure from Homer, we just want to say thank you to all of our parents. We all do things, and it's hard for us to recognize. But everyone, thank you. Yay, thank you, parents. Okay, so we're going to go on to the individual awards. So that would take us to... Wait, so we're... All I did is I listed things that we did, like placements that we did. So I'm going to do uh, the band, so the marching band program awards, and then Mr. O will do the jazz. And then I listed all of the placements at the garden, and we are going to do that on top of that when we get there. Uh, can you guys hear Mr. G okay? Because you're cutting in and out on my end. Matthew, can you wave? Can you hear him okay? Ashley says kind of. Yeah, well, we're going to go through the program achievements. All that that is, is how we placed at different events throughout the year. So I'm going to do the marching band stuff. Mr. O will do the jazz, and then I'll let Homer do the guard stuff. So all I did is I put our placements at events. So for marching band, we did quite a few events this year. Um, at the Warren Field Tournament, we are in second place. At Azusa Golden Days, we are in third place in A, which was the top division. At Norwalk, we earned second place in double A, which was the top division. At Loera, we earned second place, which was not in the top division. That was in 5A. Uh, it was Norco and us, I believe. Um, at the Chino Band Review, we got fifth place in double A in the top division and we were really close to fourth and third so that was awesome um second place at chino field tournament that was us breaking the chino curse so band members we know that we've kind of not had a good time at chino like in a long time and this year we all came off that field feeling proud and it was awesome we did an awesome job that evening 
Um, and then that following Monday, we were at the South Hills Field Tournament. Even though we went the wrong way going off the field, we still got third place that evening. Um, at Westminster, two nights later, we were first place, and we were pretty close to the top of that whole schedule. Um, at the King Band Review, we got a low score, but we did fine. Uh, we got sixth place. Uh, Ramona Field Tournament, which is some of your fa guys' favorite field tournament, especially seniors, where you got to take that picture. Uh, we did get second place in our 4A division. We did make it to champs for the first time since 2015, and we hosted champs and competed, and even with all that stress, we managed a 10th place, which is where we had been placing the previous times we had been. Um, and then in our first appearance at, at Arcadia in the AA, the top division, we did earn ninth place um, in that top division. It was an experience and it was awesome. You know, it was really amazing and rewarding to see us step up, um, you know, on the field and on the street. Um, I think we got a lot of recognition and praise from a lot of people, you know, not just adjudicators, but fans, spectators who really admired and acknowledged the hard work and effort and they're saying that and seeing that it pays off. So thank you guys for all those marching accomplishments. So then we yeah. have jazz stuff. Clap, clap, clap for everybody. <laughs> yes. Very good. So then the jazz citizen started right after that. And um, although it was pretty short, we still had uh, some really good uh, results. You know, first, before we actually competed, our jazz ensemble was invited to the first ever uh, jazz education, education network conference, the GEN, as they know it the yearly conference that happened in New Orleans. And we had a, an awesome performance with our jazz ensemble with a lot of praise. We had a, almost a half room full, which is a lot in those conferences because there's so many other places to see. So, so and then right after we, after that, we went to our first competition at Folsom. And here were the results and jazz band number three. Well, we had two festivals for jazz band, Folsom and Western States, which is Upland High School. And Jazz Choir only got to do, unfortunately, to be Folsom. So jazz band number three, second place at Folsom and at Western States. And I was very pleased with jazz band number three at second place, especially at Folsom. We've never gone that with, uh, with, with uh, the jazz band number three. All right, then uh, moving on, jazz band number two, at third place at Folsom, but as they say, that feels like one first place because first two places were bands that usually compete with our top band. And then, no wonder, first place at, at Western States in the advanced division. And that was very, very great accomplishment against a lot of bands that they only have one band. All right, then uh, Jazz Ensemble, our top band, band had First place at Folsom in the 4A division and first place at Western States division with the highest score of 97 out of 100. We just won, congratulations. That was a good feeling. It was about three points ahead of the next band behind us. So, On top of that, Jazz band from really last year, uh, results come this year, but this is what we can acknowledge. We are the 2020 downbeat winner at the high school large jazz ensemble category uh, in the nation. So this is our second one. We got one three years ago or two years ago and this one. Last year we won the most outstanding performance, uh, which our combo did this year, as you can see below. So um, then our combos, we had three combos. Uh, only combo A and B got to compete as combo C normally would have gone to Fullerton, but that did not happen. So I'm sorry about that. They all work hard and thanks for the coaches that really helped them with the combos. So combo B got third place at Western States Jazz Festival. And combo A got second place at Western States Jazz Festival. And I think combo A ended up in sixth place at Folsom out of like 30 combos. That was a 
weird division or, so, or 15, I don't know, remember. So uh, then, of course, last year's combo was 2020 downbeat, most outstanding small ensemble. And we're gonna end with our with our jazz choir, the only competition, but it was a big one at Folsom. They won the 2A division, which is the biggest division. And for the first time in at least 15 years that I remember, we beat our rival Valencia. So congratulations to all the jazz groups for all your great uh, achievements in this short season that we had. Yeah. And then I've listed all of our guard placements and achievements, but Homer, if you want to elaborate on the things that the guard was able to accomplish this entire year. Yes, sir. Can you guys all hear me clearly? Yes. Okay, perfect. Awesome, awesome. So um, our color guard season has been um, quite strong as it's been the last eight years. Um, we've had nothing but success and we keep demonstrating that year after year, which is really exciting to do, even as our number of older members keeps shrinking. Um, I am glad that even though we only had two, four years this season, we still managed to have the level of success. So I'll just read off each one of the placements. Here we go. We start off with the Warren Field Tournament, third place, fourth place at the Azusa Golden Days Parade, second place, Norwalk Parade, fourth place, Loera Band Review, Sixth place, Chino Band Review. That's a big lie. I'm going after them after for that. First place, Chino Field Tournament. Third place, South Hills Field Tournament. First place, Field Tournament. In fifth place, at SES, uh, sorry, um, Scusbo Field Championships, which is pretty awesome. And ninth place at the Arcadia festival of bands so all in all still pretty awesome season lots of success lots of growth the fight's never over lots of talented students they've all worked their butts off this year as they have the last seven years of me being there um, it's been nothing but growth nothing but success i can't stress enough how much these members work every day i swear like we practically live at downey high school i feel like i live at downey high school but it's all worth it every year. I definitely miss it all. I miss the hard work. I miss the sweat. I miss the cold nights on the field. I miss the rehearsals indoors in the gym. I definitely miss seeing these hard young ladies and young men work to achieve the goals that they have over the last year in the program. So a big thank you to them and a big applause to them or spared fingers for their hard work and their success this year. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good job, everyone, for everything we were able to accomplish this year. So now we have our most improved and best freshman. Um, okay. Mr. O, I guess I'll talk about the most improved. Okay. Okay. So as our most improved freshman, we've had a, quite a few outstanding freshmen this year. Um, but we had a few that stepped up into roles that you know, freshmen don't typically step up into, um, you know, as most of you, when you were freshmen, if you look back, you think about how nervous and scared you were and you didn't want to talk and you didn't want to do anything and you were scared to show how much or how little you knew or didn't know. Um, this person to me didn't fit that mold. Uh, this person from the moment they started in the summer just felt like they were already experienced, like they were already a veteran, like they were not afraid to show, I know this much, I don't know this stuff. And over the course of the year, they obviously became one of the stronger people in their section and started to move up in the program. Um, and it was really awesome to see the growth that this person demonstrated in just the first year as a student at Downey High School. And so the person that Mr. O and I recommended as our most improved freshman for the 2019-2020 school year was Samantha Graves. Yay. Samantha, if you are here and you wanna say something, you can unmute yourself. I'll wait a few seconds or... No? Does anyone know if Samantha's on here? 
I saw her. her. I thought I saw her earlier. All right, Samantha, if you don't want to say anything, that's fine. Um, but now we'll move on to our best, or we'll call the most valuable on the slideshow. So our best or most valuable freshman this year. Mr. O, do you want to talk about this person? Yeah, so this person, uh, yeah, again, like Mr. G said, we had quite a few, uh, or quite, a, quite a few good uh, freshmen uh, this year that were really at the top, you know, so it was tough to choose. But for us, uh, this person, maybe to me the most quietest person, but the most achievable person, all the uh, all the stuff that we teach in classroom, uh, this person just get it and goes home and practices it and comes back a ton better the next day. And um, it's with no surprise that uh, even when I call the home, I hear the practice back there. And you probably all know by now, he's the leader of the new Jazz One, Mr. Sergio Curiel. <laughs> Congrats, Sergio. Sergio, do you want to say anything if you're there or whatever? Probably not. Uh, thanks, oh. guys. Thank you, Sergio. <laughs> All right, so we'll move on. And then we go to sophomore. Um, Mr. O, I'll do both of the sophomores. Okay. Okay. So our most improved sophomore um, it actually played a different instrument their sophomore year than they did as a freshman. And even though they were on a completely new instrument, they proved to be one of the stronger players, not only in their section, but within the program. Um, and the amount of growth that this person showed made me feel much more comfortable, even though we have really strong people leaving that section. Um, even though sometimes this person did a little bit too much, it definitely needs to be acknowledged that they improved a lot and they are still a really strong asset to our program. And the person I want to recognize as most improved sophomore is Desmond Carter. Yay. You are our most improved. That was unanimous from me and Mr. O. Do you want to say something, Des? You can unmute yourself. Or not? <laughs> Des is now a robot. The future is doomed. Okay. Well, we like him so much that Mr. G dropped off a tuba to his house yesterday. Even though I had to text Amanda to text him to let him know that I was there. But yes, now Des has a tuba. So <laughs> getting better, Des. All right. And then our best or most valuable sophomore. This person actually did pick up a second instrument this year and did amazing things on that instrument. But on their primary instrument, they have been probably the, one of the strongest members since their freshman year. Um, while not a section leader, they are definitely a leader amongst their peers. Um, the dedication and effort that this person puts in on a daily basis has been evident. And I'm just really proud of everything that this person has done and the amount of growth that they have made and the amount of growth that I'm sure that they will still make. Um, this was unanimous from me and Mr. O as well. And our most valuable sophomore this year was Catherine Saman. Yeah, Catherine. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're welcome, Catherine. Thank you for the dedication. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll do most improved junior, and then you can do okay. the next three after that. All right. So most improved junior. This is another one of our students who, you know, to help the team, they picked up a new instrument because the instrument that they were on, we either had too many people on it or it just didn't really work out for us in marching band to have a lot of that instrument. Um, and even though they might have struggled a little bit in starting their new instrument, they definitely got better. And then after they you know, got through that struggle on that new instrument, they picked up another new instrument this year to get into jazz. And then Mr. O saw a lot of growth from basically starting at nothing to you know, being a valuable member of that ensemble. 
Um, the person that we want to recognize as the most improved junior is Evan Gonzalez, Mold. Woo! Mold, if you want to unmute yourself. Uh, yeah, uh, I just want to say thank you to Mr. L and Mr. G for all the opportunities you guys give me. I really take it to heart and just, yeah, thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you for everything you've done. Keep up your dedication. Thank you, Evan. Yes, very good. And uh, I like your leadership skills too a lot, Evan. Thank you very much. And uh, for most valuable or the best junior this year, a person again who um, played wherever we needed, you know, uh, switch from one instrument to another just to make the group work. And that speaks a lot about teamwork. And um, even though he, uh, they like to, to, to do other things besides music and they're successful also, um, sometimes, um, I'm gonna say he, he was, uh, you know, uh, when I would uh, go off tangent, he would uh, fall asleep. But uh, when it was time to to be serious, he would do it right away. On top of that, he joined the jazz choir and made our jazz choir really, really good. And as you guys all say the name, yes, our most valuable junior this year goes to Cody Joey Monsiri. Congrats, Cody. Congratulations, Cody. I don't know if he's here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's right. probably either asleep or climbing a wall. <laughs> <laughs> probably the wall. <laughs> All right, Mr. O, you can do the two seniors. Okay. So, again, this senior, very strong class. Uh, um, we had so many great seniors, and it was very hard for us to pick one. Uh, or two, I should say, because there were more than that. But uh, we had to go with at least uh, a couple and not the most particular order, you know, most improved or best or most valuable. Um, we just had to label it somehow. So this person, again, for most improved, uh, has been in the program all four years, uh, has done awesome job and a lot of improvement. Uh, they also started on a different instrument and I asked them like, well, we need this and they did it. And then um, uh, they, they, they grew so much. And especially this year, uh, the improvement um, earned, earned a lot of achievements and a lot of uh, greatness and helped our program a lot, especially in the jazz ensemble. So our most improved senior goes to Mr. Aaron Villalobos. Congrats, Aaron. I'm very proud of you. Are you there? Can you say something? Yeah, I could say something. <laughs> something. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Owen, Mr. G. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> We're right. very proud of you, man. And hopefully you get to go to that uh, Stanford workshop next summer because you certainly deserve it. And good luck to you at uh, Northridge, Cal State Northridge. <laughs> so. All right, and the f most valuable senior, or the best senior as we call it, um, this person again, um, played an instrument. Um, took me a while to convince them to try out, like I'm doing every single year, like I've done this last week. Apparently I was not very successful last week in this time of uh, COVID. A lot of uh, students decided not to continue with jazz, for, as I, I should say, not too many people. So as you know, the result, we only have two jazz bands next year. And um, I'm looking at the list of 41 uh, first year members in jazz we had this year. That's a lot. That was a lot of people. And, um, and I see a lot of seniors too, but uh, second year and third year, not as many. So I'm hoping you freshmen uh, continue to to do with music whatever happens because it's uh, it's good for you guys it's gonna stay for the rest of your life and I can't have any too so many examples of students coming back to see how much they enjoyed being in the music program and the memories that they shared in band they they will never be like that in in your past years past high school years so but for this most valuable senior this person again the last couple of years also joined the jazz choir and she's done an awesome and I can't thank her enough and the talent that she has and the growth that she's done in these four years. 
Best senior this year goes to Alisa Curiel. Congrats, Alisa. Woo! Go ahead, talk to us. Oh, yeah. Peach. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. G. Thank you, Mr. O. Thank you. Thank you for not giving up a marching band after destroying your knee like a month into your freshman year. Uh -huh. I did freshman year all in a wheelchair. <laughs> all in a wheelchair. You still made it, even though you died. I will always remember that. <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah, uh, and we wish you good luck to your Cal State Long Beach, my alumni. <laughs> Go Beach, and we want to see you in Pacific PST uh, next fall. <laughs> and uh, can't wait to see what you're going to be doing next. What cover, wh what's your next... Uh, um, uh, Devani, as they call it. There you go. Let's stick. <laughs> Very proud of you. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Next is the color guard. So we're going to do the color guard most improved. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. Um, so the most improved guard member this year, um, it's always a tough choice. I think all the members coming in, especially the ones that make it through the winter guard season, do a phenomenal job of really pushing through and making it through an entire year. And everybody shows and demonstrates this. This individual came into the program and, you know, came in a little shy at first. And through time, started to develop his, their skills. <laughs> I almost gave it up. Um, started to develop the skills necessary to, to be an excellent first member of the program. The skills kept growing, the confidence kept growing, um, and this individual just just wanted more, 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 and you know, gave it, this person gave it their all the entire entire season. It was really wonderful to see this individual just blossom and, and grow out of the comfort zone that many younger teenagers tend to have. People come in with, you know, lots of insecurities, lots of, you know, little voices in your head telling you I can't. But this individual kept pushing forward, kept working hard, kept really asking the right questions, asking the right information from the staff. And this individual that really, really just blew the staff away as a first member this year will be Andy Conde. Yay. Andy, do you want to say anything if you're on here? I don't know if he's on. I don't remember seeing him enter the, the waiting room. But congratulations, Andy, Thank you for your dedication and effort. And then we'll go on. Thank you for your hard work. Now we're going to go on to the best guard member. Best guard member. Another tough one. And I, I think I kept the previous introduction very, very short for that reason. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank every member of the color guard for their hard work and thank the families for an amazing job this year between, you know, Carmen Del Rivero, if you're here, you know, thank you for everything that you've done for the Color Guard program this season. I want to thank the Matthews as well for all of your help and support and making sure that this last season was really, really smooth and leading the way for future parents to see how we all can come together and work really, really hard, especially when it's so much being invested for our students. Um, a best guard member, I would say, you know, this individual for me has to want to make it through all four years in the program. I think that being a part of the color guard program is very difficult. Um, not saying that being in band or jazz or jazz choir mariachi isn't just as tough. Or every group has their challenges. Um, so hats off to all of you. Um, but to be a four-year member of the color guard is a lot to deal with between rigorous rehearsal schedules, you know, different personalities, learning to work with other people, time management, keeping up your grades, keeping an ex ex excellent GPA, besides what's required of, of each member through the basic GPA requirement, which is basically nothing to being able to not only be a member of the program, but also being a good member of the community, being a good member to their teammates, 
being a good example to their teammates and just really showing the younger members in the program and the organization what hard work is all about, going after your goals, going after your dreams, going after what you want, demonstrating that to your teammates and really pushing forward for an ultimate goal of it's not just the individual and what I want, but it's what do we all want together and accomplishing that together. And I think that this individual really made that happen for the color guard this year. And, you know, choosing it's one is never easy. So I didn't just choose one. I chose two. And um, I'm going to award the best guard member to the senior class, which is Gwen Cisneros and it's Kaylee Matthews. You know, I think they both have done an amazing job though sometimes they can be like water and oil and, and, you know, sometimes they don't see eye to eye. And I think that ultimately, I think that's, that's okay. And I think that we all have differences. I think that we all have differences of opinion, but I think that we all lead in different ways. And I am super proud of both of these amazing young women because they both offer such different perspectives and they both lead in such different ways and they both were able to put those differences aside as we made it through the winter guard season to lead this program to another season of success. You know, we went out to the first regional in Bakersfield this year and we made it in to finals and where we started the season to where we were at the end before it was all stripped away from us. We went from making finals and being eighth to then being second place in our class and, and finishing on a good note, even though we probably could have finished stronger. And I want to thank both Gwen and Kaylee for a job well done, for being great members to the program, for leading the young team members, both in different ways, but leading them to success and pushing this team to new levels of excellence. And, and thank you for sticking by my side for four years. Thank you for helping me push this program to new levels of excellence. And thank you for making it through four years of hard work, determination, sweat, tears, bruises, injuries, rain rehearsals, wet rehearsals, cold rehearsals, hot rehearsals, dehydrated asthma attacks, hurt fingers, hurt knees, hurt toes. I mean, you just kept pushing, you kept working hard. And I just want to say thank you to both of you. And I can't wait to see what you two will become in the future as the future leaders of our country and our communities. So thank you very much. I love you both. I miss you both very, very, very much. And I hope that you guys are all well and healthy. Um, Gwen, Kaylee, if you're on here, would you like to say anything? I know I saw Kaylee. No? Hello, hello. Anybody yeah. there? Kaylee, Gwen? But thank you both for your dedication and sticking it out for four years. You know, that's an accomplishment in itself. You're the only two to survive from that large class of you that started. So sad to see you go, but happy with the stuff that you guys accomplished in four years. Awesome. All right. So now we're going to go on to more band awards. So we're going to go on to our Gifford Award, which Mr. Bruce Gifford was the band director at Downey High School in the 60s, 70s, and part of the 80s. Um, typically, we've had a benefactor that donates scholarship money to our program. Um, so far, Mr. O and I have not been able to confirm that we may or may not continue getting that scholarship award. Our benefactor has not actually um, contacted us, even though we've reached out several times. Um, but this is actually the first year that missed, this is the posthumous award. Mr. Gifford actually passed away earlier this year. So this would be the first time that it's in a memorial award. Um, so we have a man named Doug Klippel, who was one of Mr. Gifford's students, who's been the one to donate and had us create this award. Um, so he wanted this award to be more for, not so much for um, the best players, but for maybe someone who does a lot of hard work um, you know, does a lot of the behind the scenes stuff and helps make the program better while maybe avoiding the limelight. And in this award this year, I had difficulty selecting our winner um, because the person that came to my mind 
is basically like a conjoined twin. And these two people, which we awarded it, um, these two people that we awarded this year have been inseparable since the beginning of their freshman year. Um, I don't ever associate either of them as individuals. They come as a package and I have told them this and they've done a lot of amazing things, switching instruments, being the main people in charge of loading or yelling at people who aren't loading and taking care of business on any given day. I feel like they have the respect of all of their peers and our program has been stronger from the from the effort that they've been making behind the scenes. They might not always get the limelight. They don't play a glorious instrumental part or solos ever, but they were really strong on their instrument. And I think that we all know that our Gifford Award winners are Kendall Longino and Amanda Bardalis. And this was the only picture I could get someone to send of me that was two of them together. So I know it's not the most flattering, but are either of you on here want to say anything? I know I saw Amanda log on. I don't think I saw Kendall. Yeah, I'm here. Um, thanks from both of us. We really appreciate it. And yeah, we kind of are inseparable. I'll tell her. <laughs> oh, she's not there with you? No, <laughs> she's at her house. Okay, well, thank you guys for, you know, all of the effort. I appreciate and acknowledge that you guys have put in a lot into making us a better program. Thank, thank you so much. And hopefully some of your colleagues retain the information of how to load the trailer. So <laughs> in the future, it still happens. Thank you. All right. So we're going to move on to our next award, which should be our Patrick Gilmore National Award. So there are a few national level awards, the Gilmore, the Armstrong, and the Sousa Awards that are typically given out by almost every high school program. Um, the Sousa is typically for the person who had the strongest influence on the music slash marching band program. The Gilmore is very similar to the Sousa, which musically this person has had a strong effect on their peer and on their peers and program at large. And Mr. O and I both strongly agreed on this person that we elected. Um, they've been a valuable member all four years. Even when they came in as a freshman, they were among the best players in their section on their instrument um, and they took up a strong while not a section leader as a freshman um, they took up a strong you know personality and took on a lot of responsibility pushing their peers to be better than they were and better that they thought that they could be um, they did this throughout all four years and not just with their peers but with themselves um, this person was while they were probably the strongest person in their section all four years, they were never satisfied and they were always working to be better. And if someone wasn't doing what they, what she expected of them, um, she would usually give a glaring look and she would give that look of, I know I can do it better. And she usually could. Um, and the person that Mr. O and I chose for this Gilmore Award is... Anayi Hernandez. Yeah. And again, the only picture I could find, even though those people in the background don't look the best. Anayi, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. You want to say? Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you to you and Mr. O for everything. And thank you to everyone here for allowing, for giving me the best four years of my life. <laughs> We're so proud of you, Anai. We thank you. Thank you a lot for everything. Thanks. We're going to miss having your brain in that section. Don't know what's going to happen next year. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Anai. All right. Next, mm -hmm. we move on to Jazz Choir Awards. So we have a Jazz Choir Most Improved and a Jazz Choir Best or Most Valuable. So, Mr. O. Yeah, so in Jazz Choir, I mean, as I looked in there, there's like almost like what, about 10 first year members in there. It was crazy because so many, when they joined the choir for the first year, you know, they have a lot to learn and a lot of them did improve a lot. Uh, and um, 
um, what I could say that uh, uh, everyone improved a lot because we had a great result. We had a great performance in New Orleans, and then we had that awesome performance in Folsom that earned us that first place. Um, so, um, uh, but I chose a person who actually sang probably one of the hardest parts. As you know, in jazz choir, many times we sing five, six parts, sometimes seven, sometimes eight. And it was the case this year. And one of the hardest voices is to sing is, of course, the baritone. So I chose the returning member, Alejandro Ortiz. Congrats, Alejandro. I'm not sure if he's around. Are you here? Uh, yes, I am here. Okay. Um, thank you. I, I really appreciate it. And I'm glad, I'm glad that I get to continue on the music. So yeah, thank you again, both well, of you. I'm I'm very happy for you that you chose to come back. You know, we had a talk and you're worried about other things. And I said, uh, nothing will matter, man. If you like music, you, you need to come back and, and do it all. Um, and you were doing it, including the jazz, uh, the jazz band on trombone. I dragged you out of your <laughs> uh, house and I say, you need to do trombone in jazz one and you did it. But, uh, the most improvement was in jazz choir, I thought. The, the, that's the hardest voice is one of the, the hardest voices, baritone and bass to sing in, in jazz choir. And yeah, thanks to you, we kept the, the group together and we sounded awesome. So thank you again. Okay, and then for, uh, for the best uh, jazz choir award this year, uh, and this comes with a silver microphone award, as you know it. <laughs> Um, and this person, again, uh, one of the greatest le leaders I've ever seen uh, in my 20 years career here at Downey High. Um, and I've, I've, we've had great leaders in the past, too, uh, that were very good musicians, very good leaders, too. But this person, uh, not only that has those two qualities, and it's a great singer, too, uh, this person has also a great uh, organizational skills and uh, so organized that I, I don't remember seeing a person like this. And of course, uh, a member of few honor groups in the last few years, uh, three-year member of Jazz Choir, our junior, Mr. Raymond Ortiz. Congratulations, Raymond. Raymond. I just want to say that the jazz program has changed my life and I appreciate you so much. And I think my life would have no meaning right now if it wasn't for this program. Oh. And I just want to thank you for changing my life. Well, I'm so glad to hear that. And uh, you changed many lives also around you. I could tell you that much. Uh, so, and I'm, I'm, I'm very, very happy and very glad to lead us every year in the last four years, I could say, you know, all of the leaders we've had, they could take on a group and do it themselves because they learned how to do it. And you are one of them too. I, I guarantee you can go to an, any high school right now and, and teach a choir from zero to, to success because you know how to do it. So I'm very grateful and very grateful that I have, I get to have you another year here. So that's <laughs> Thank you. All right. Congratulations, Raymond. Thank you. And I know I didn't ask you guys for pictures. I'm sorry about that for jazz choir and jazz band. So on the jazz band, the most improved person, again, we had so many jazz band people that improved so much. And, and again, remember 41 people first year in jazz band or jazz choir. I mean, that's a lot. It was, it's great to, to see. Uh, there's so many interested and uh, I'm sure uh, and a lot in a lot of you improved a lot you know and um, I'm very happy of, about that and but we had to pick one again and uh, this person I thought did an outstanding job all year around uh, going home practicing coming home coming to school and say Mr. Look well, what about this what about that and I have some input then the coaches said input help you then he would come uh, at lunchtime and play and get together with his uh, friends in there, you know, and, and I know there's all those guys that would come and just play for fun during lunch or snack or after school. But this person I thought uh, did an outstanding job and improved a lot. And that person is 
Ezekiel Leva. Congratulations. I see you've been chatting a lot. How about now it's your time to talk? <laughs> Zeke, are you there? Oh my goodness! <laughs> there you First are. of all, I want to thank everybody that came in. I want to thank the academy. <laughs> <laughs> no I want to thank SC. I want to thank the rhythm section. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> We love you too. Let's go! And, yes, and we love all the rhythm section. I know you've been uh, playing around with Ethan and with uh, Daniela almost. Cedric, every Cedric, time. Cedric. And with Ivan and Cedric, yes. And I appreciate that. That, that really truly says a lot um, that you guys really care and you want to get better and just have fun. And at the end of the day, guys, being in music is having fun and you are having fun. And I'm thank you all of you, you know, that uh, especially all you senior that stuck for it for four years and, and uh, you're not going to regret it. I could tell you that much. Awesome. So and now the best jazz uh, band award again, we had a few few people in there that really deserve it, that took this uh, band uh, in the last four years that the best four years or five, I should say, you know, even the previous year, but these four years. Uh, the success that our jazz program had, it's immense. I, I, can, I, I used to dream about this, I'm telling you guys. About 10 years ago, I was thinking, man, how can we get on those top places? What do we need to do? And, and it only took a few people to start uh, practicing outside of class time. I've done all I could in the class time in the first 10 years of my career down high, and we didn't get that far, you know. Uh, because it takes a little more and there's so many people that started to see and once one person starts to practice guess what another it rubs off on another and that's what happened in our program and we had so many and uh, um, I'm, I'm so proud of you all but we had to pick one this year and this person this year I thought improved a lot and uh, took our, our group to, to very high place that I didn't think it would be possible even this year after what year we had in the year past, you know. Um, um, so this person, um, again, a person who every day you see him, he's just with his instrument and practices all day and is there, you know, even when you talk to him, he, he can't stop playing, you know, or picking. <laughs> so for that reason, this year we chose the best Louis Armstrong Award for Mr. Ivan Cuevas. Congratulations, Ivan. So proud of you. Are you there, Ivan? I saw you earlier. I hope you're still here. I don't know if he's still here. We're missing he left. Okay. Oh, okay, I guess we we're a bit too long. He had to go practice. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, Ivan. Okay, and then we'll move on. And then our final award for the presentation is our John Philip Sousa National Award. So the Sousa Award is typically given to someone who participated in marching band. Some programs do it just best overall musician. But in the past few years, it's been given to someone in marching band. Um, and I think that this year, this person personified who we are on the field, on the street, um, gave 110% pretty consistently um, and had the respect of all of their peers, staff, and everyone else. And Mr. O and I totally agreed on this one. And I think most of you will too. And our Sousa Award for 2019-2020 is Matthew Chavez. Yay! Matthew, do you want to say anything? Uh, you're dead. <laughs> oh man, uh, thank you all so much. I, I, I just, this has been the most amazing four years of my life. I, I honestly have to say like being in band like just changed who I am so much and changed the way I view the world. And I'm so thankful to all of you. And thank you, Mr. O and Mr. G for giving us so much to do and like always being there, always supporting us. Thank you all so much. Right. 
Oh, there you go. <laughs> we, we thank you too, Matthew. We're very proud of you. Yeah, we both appreciate and acknowledge all the effort that you've made and especially the growth that you've made since being a freshman and, you know, being scared, but you never gave up. I know that, you know, you wanted to start on Alto and I, I didn't let that happen. And you just moved to Tenor and you got better from there. And, you know, I'm not going to forget that. I'm not going to forget you. So, you know, thank you. Keep going on. Continue the music. I know that that's the plan. You know, go go get it at UCLA. You'll be great. Who knows? Maybe you can be a drum major in that band too. So proud of you and everything you've accomplished. Awesome. So now we have um, student leaders for next year. I know that we typically do this and we haven't quite finished. Um, Homer, I know that we didn't go through guard interviews, auditions or anything. Um, but on the band side, I did have students submit applications and I got their information. And I looked through it. And I know that because of the COVID situation, we're in a time of uncertainty right now where, you know, we don't know what is going to happen next year. We don't know what the fall is going to look like. And realistically, the future is going to depend on what our student leaders are going to be able to do and carry over. If we have a fall, you know, it's going to be our student leaders are going to help motivate and push your peers. If we have, you know, a very small something that's kind of even, it's going to be up to those student leaders to pass on your knowledge, your information to the next generation, especially our freshmen. This class of freshmen is going to be very important to us for us keeping our number up in the program alive. These programs are really working right now about are they going to be able to retain their eighth grade freshmen that would be able to do that they're always here, but I don't know. So I didn't do formal interviews for our student leadership, but in our sections, we had one or two apply. There are maybe only one or two people that apply that are not on this list, and that is not a slight against you. It's just that right now, I don't know what the fall is going to entail, and I would really like to, you know, Put off putting pressure on, especially with that. So on the next slide, all of them are going to pop up, and I will just go to position and who those people. Mister, real quick, I don't know if uh, if Homer's is making the the I noise. I think it's Homer's, but I need to find where he is. Homer, if you can mute yourself, we hear a lot of car noise. All right, there we go. Thank you. Thank you. So for drum majors, we have two right now, Joaquin Macias and Lisbeth Figueroa, who are both returning, and this will and would be their third year in a drum major position. Uh, for flute, we have Michaela Ceballos. For clarinet, we have the three that we had this past year. So all three of these members were section leaders, Violet Becerra, Trinity Ponce, and Carla Jimenez. For alto saxophone, we have Ashley Aguilar, who was the section leader this year, and then our new person joining her is Kevin Cordova. For low reeds, which would be our tenors and bass clarinets, that's going to be Belkis Hernandez and Jackson Zawada. For trumpet, we have Lily Montenegro. For mellophone and horn, we have two of our previous award winners, Evan Gonzalez and Catherine Simon. For the trombones and baritones and euphonium, we have Alejandro Ortiz. For the sousaphones, we did have two people, which would be Desmond Carter and Alexis Quasi Comley. For battery, we had two people. So we have Jeffrey Reyes, who's you know going to be a senior, and Laura Lyhart, who will be a sophomore this coming year. And then our front ensemble captain for the second year is going to be Leslie Moreno. So for right now, those are our student leaders that could change as we go into the year and depending on what our needs are and what they become. Um, we don't know at this point. We still need direction from, you know, our school site admin, district admin, you know, all of the powers that be. They have not really told us what the year is going to look like. So just trying to put people in place. There's not really a definite this is going to happen yet though but i know that all the people that are on this list will do good things because most of you have already done good things this year so 
I'm excited to see what you guys are able to do and pass on for the future. And then this brings us close to the end of this. So we've gone through all of our awards. We've gone through our fall leadership. And then I just wanted to say thank you all for a memorable year. That, you know, I know because of all this COVID-19 craziness, you know, we weren't able to finish out our year. But in the time that we did have together, all of us, all of our performing groups, all of our programs, we were able to accomplish a lot. And, you know, Downey as a program is known and respected for the quality of our performing groups, whether it be the color guard, the jazz bands, the, the wind ensemble, the marching band, you know, we are looked at as a, you know, as a beacon of excellence, especially in our area. Um, you know, and a lot of people look for us when we go performing at events. They want to see the Downey Guard. They want to see the Downey Jazz Band. They want to see the Downey Parade Band and Field Band. And they, they like what it is that we do. And I know that especially seniors, you know, you guys are going to remember these past four years. And I know that the, the Ramona picture just popped up um, that you guys all like. Um, but yeah, these four years of marching band, they will create a lifetime of memories. You will remember, you know, everything that you've done, whether it was marching band, whether it was jazz, whatever. But I just had this photo from our marching band show. Um, you know, I want to say thank you to everyone, whether, you know, you were directly my student or not these past four years. I appreciate and respect and acknowledge, you know, all the effort and time that you've committed to what it is that we've done and been doing and continue to strive to do. Mr. O, do you want to say anything? Yeah, same here. I'd like to thank you all for a great uh, four years for the seniors and everyone that if you've been here one year or two or three or four, uh, I'm, I'm glad that you, you experience being in a music program here at Downey. And um, I'm very proud of you. I'm uh, I, oh, seniors, I, I wish you good luck and I hope uh, you'll, uh, you'll, I know you'll do great things in your f near future. And uh, in this yeah, situation that we are, like I said, we don't know what's happening, but uh, music can't stop. You know, even if, if we're gonna be like, like this for a while, uh, we can still music and uh, still do music, you know, and that, that brings joy. That brings joy to our hearts and to, to all of, all, of, all of us around us. You know, if you watch now the news, people started learning the instruments on their own. You know, they're bored at home, like what to do? Well, let's learn an instrument. Let's, you know, record uh, 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 myself four times like Raymond did and he's uh, now on the, all the social media platforms, you know. Uh, uh, it's something special that, that uh, never changes, you know and especially live music. And we hope that very soon we'll be together and, um, and uh, play again or sing again in a group because that's even, even better. Um, uh, I was gonna say, uh, I know we did not get to finish like a slideshow of pictures and videos for this, but that's, I think it's coming soon when, when we get it. Uh, well, here's uh, somebody wants to say hi to. He's back. He, he hi. Bachelor party. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Glad that we got to work with you guys, and I hope you guys have a lovely time in I don't know college or whatever you choose to do. <laughs> well, some are coming back to Downey. Yeah. Well, I mean the ones that I actually care about that are leaving. So. Oh. <laughs> okay. So the rest of you, I'll never see you again. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, he thinks he's not gonna get hired in the fall because there's no more budget. But we're praying that that will not change and we can still have all our coaching staff because we, without them also we cannot do the, the successful program that we have here at Downey. And, um, and yeah, with that said, um, I love you all. And Mr. G, can you take the screen, uh, the, the share screen so we can do a virtual hug before they start talking? Let me stop there. Everybody. And maybe you, some, some of you can take pictures of the, the screen, pictures, and then maybe you can post them like that. So I'm going to count to three. On a, on a count to three, everybody's going to hug each other. Got it? For about three seconds. And somebody take pictures. Raymond, take pictures. One, two, three. Downy group hug.
How does this work? <laughs> what is, no one knows what's happening. Uh, well, a few I I see. <laughs> you do it for the next page, Raymond, or I don't know if you can do it, or somebody's doing it for the next pages that we see some more people. Yeah. And I know Joe was here, and I would like to thank Joe, man. He's our best supporter in, in the years that we had, and he's still here. And I appreciate you, Joe, for all that you've done for our uh, program. I don't know if he's still there. Um, Somewhere. Uh, yeah, and all his, uh, all your donations, and uh, and just I know people are just happy to see you around all the time. We really thank you. Yeah. So. We can take a Zoom selfie, so everyone smile, and I'll take screenshots of my screen. Oh, there you go. So on the count of three. Yeah, then, stay there for like 10 seconds. 10 seconds, smile. Can you smile for 10 seconds? One, two, two three. three. Smile. Well, one more. Bike vibe. <laughs> one more. There. Got it? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much, everyone. And I don't know, Mr. G, you want to now uh, open it up? Yeah, a few things. Um, so in the group chat right now, we have a few students that are putting together the slideshow. I'm going to share the email address that they ask that you send any photos that you have. So I'm going to, there we go. So dhs.music.banquet at gmail.com. If you have photos or videos that you want to send to be a part of our slideshow that we will figure out how to broadcast in the future. Um, seniors, do any of you want to say anything? Like this is your time to tell your peers, you know, any kind of recognition, encouragement, acknowledgement that you want to give them. So if you're a Hold senior. On. Mr. G, one second. Can yeah. we... Um... Raymond, can you do uh, like uh, uh, maybe gather all the pictures from Jazz Choir and videos, show videos that we have, and then you can submit it to who's in charge of the whole slideshow, and then from uh, from also from Jasmine, if you can do it too, that would, would make it easier. Who's in charge of the the whole thing of this, Mr. G? Ashley. Um, it's and Ashley, Matthew, Violet. Uh, Carla, Sergio Galvez. Okay, well, probably Matthew, Matthew will have enough from the jazz groups, but between Matthew and Raymond, uh, Raymond will give you all the jazz choir stuff, and if you have some from the jazz bands too, pictures and stuff, you can send it to Matthew. Sounds okay. good? Yeah. We, I also had one of the boosters send me a text right now reminding that if for some reason you haven't turned in a uniform or costume yet, you guys do need to do that, especially seniors. So please take care of your business that should have been taken care of months ago. Don't end this in a depressing way. Um, but seniors, is there anyone that wants to say anything? Uh, Mr. G, one more thing. So uh, next week, we'll find out today. We'll let you know in, in Google Classroom or, or Remind what day you can come uh, claim your senior plaque if you haven't got or if you haven't cleaned your cub yet or something. Most likely, there may be next Tuesday or Thursday, uh, depending when the school lets us do it. Like again, in the could be like from twelve thirty to, uh, you know, a couple hours or an hour. So, and all of you that uh, uh, even maybe I would I would say even the the people who got the special awards, uh, like the most improved and best of each year, they they are sitting right now on the piano, and you can pick those up if I guess and all the rest we can give it to you when we see you <laughs> okay i'm done talking now <laughs> okay so after you know seniors if any of you want to say anything uh, i'll keep recording this and it can be part of you know our video after any seniors are done saying whatever they want to say i'll end the recording and i'll just leave it open for everyone to talk and mingle and just you know say hi bye whatever it is that we want to do, but are there any seniors that want to talk? Just unmute yourself and, you know, just be cordial if we unmute at the same time. I love you guys. <laughs> no one else. Thank you, for, uh, thank you guys for all of your hard work. Um, throughout all these four years, I had a great time. And I'm pretty sure that this is my favorite year, hands down. 
And I want to thank Mr. G and Mr. O for all your support and um, just helping me out with uh, when I was in need. Thank you. Love you too, man. <laughs> Come on, seniors. <laughs> Alyssa, you can say something instead of just clapping or whatever it is. Huh? Oh, I'm showing, I'm showing my respect to my fellow senior. Well, go ahead, Alyssa. My, my respect. Respect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that's it, though. All right. How about the guy that's wearing the, the graduation gown? Oh, no, no, he's not wearing it anymore. Uh, oh, never mind, never mind. I see Daniela, I see Angel, I see... Omar? You should have invited Simpson to this call. No. Cheyenne, you're on here. Talk. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Even though I've been held captive here, I appreciate you guys. Multiple times. <laughs> Thank you, Cheyenne. Anyone else? You look like you're all giving up. That's yeah. Awesome. Okay. We're done. Uh, today, today was the last day, so we, we gave up already. Okay, well, thanks to all of you that stuck it out all the way to the end. Um, I'm going to stop the recording right now, and then I'm just going to unmute everyone, and I can host this, and you guys can talk over each other. But, you know, thank you for everything. It was a good year, even though it was cut short, and you know, we still look forward to the future and what we'll continue to be accomplishing. So, can yeah. we scream? Yeah.